13 straight conference losses. It's the worst stretch ever for Arizona softball in the Pac-12 slash Pac-10 slash 12 era. Hosting an Oregon State team with an identical just three wins in conference play. Ali Skaggs, one of the Cats' best hitters, went hitless last week in Oregon. Zero for four tonight and without a multi-hit game in the month of April. Arizona was in a 5 nothing hole, but there's life off the bat of Paige Dimmler in opposite field. Three-run home run. Cats back to within two. Devin Nett started in the circle. Sydney Summerndike on in relief, getting some defense deep in the 6-5 from Taylor Beal with a quick release. Lefty freshman Olivia DiNardo has been a bright spot for the Cats, and she is going to get this one here. Just enough out into right field to sneak this one between two Beavers. Dakota Kennedy comes home to score on what would be a double 6-4 Beavers. High five on that, but no more high fives came after that. Skaggs denied on a great defensive play at second by Oregon State's Madison Clark. Beavers win it 9-4. That's 14 straight Pac-12 losses for Arizona. Arizona baseball also taking on Oregon State. The Beavers, Chip Hale and company, though, on the road in Corvallis, riding a six-game winning streak. This is about as crushing a defeat as they come. The Wildcats' one nothing ninth inning lead turned into a walk-off 2-1 victory for Oregon State. Thanks to Beavers freshman Tice Peterson, mm, 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 and on a 0-2 pitch, nonetheless, from Dawson Nats. Heartbreak is well in Ojai, California for Arizona men's tennis. The Wildcats fall to Utah 4-3 in the Pac-12 semifinals. Utes will face downtown L.A. in the finals on Saturday. Arizona going to have to wait to see if they get to host the NCAA regionals this year.